good evening children so today we'll start a new chapter settlement rural and urban life so if you remember in the previous chapter we learn about settlement and the types of settlement but in this chapter we shall learn about the lifestyle the socio cultural norms of people living in both urban and rural settlement and also the characteristics of lifestyle in both rural and urban settlement along with that we will also understand the process of urbanization a brief idea about some major towns in assam and the various problems associated with towns and cities now in the previous chapter chapter we learn about settlement that is people living in a place permanently be it be village or in town but yeah it it it's the villages that later transfer or transform itself into town then we also discuss about activities of the people living in villages and town but here in this chapter we'll discuss about them very elaborately then we also discuss about urban settlement that is also known as municipal settlement or towns then we also discuss about various types of settlement the pattern linear nucleated star isn't it so first of all let's start with the characteristics of lifestyle in the rural settlement so what exactly is rural settlement so types of life that people live in villages is known as rural rural life or rural settlement now the nomadic life of man has changed if you remember in the very beginning man was leading a nomadic life they did not lead a settled life they lead a unsettled life but soon when they discovered about agriculture it was then that man started to stay in a particular place and then they form villages and that changed man's life and man started to settle down permanently in a place especially for agricultural activities and that started to form villages uh generally in the present context around 75 percent or even more than that of the total population in the rural areas the people are engaging agricultural activities now why people in the villages are mostly engaging agricultural activities now first of all villages are set up in fertile lands near the river and that makes agriculture possible and it becomes the main activity of the people living there and also the transport facility or the transport network in villages are not well developed and because of this it is difficult for the people living in the villages to engage themselves in other activities and for that reason people in the villages they are engaged in agricultural activities and they grow different kinds of crops such as rice jute pulses and also varieties of vegetables now people living in villages are not only engage themselves or not only engage themselves in farming but apart from farming they also engage in other activities such as fishing animal husbandry poultry farming etc so now if we talked about our own state assam now assam is also a agrarian state because much of the population in assam are also engaged in agriculture but in assam 
the agriculture is mostly dependent on nature that is we wait for monsoon and when it rains people are engaged in farming because technology has not got into deep in the agricultural sector it's it is still limited here in assam and the people here in assam in the villages they organize and live together they celebrate different functions festivals and even those functions or festivals are based on agri culture for example now bihu bihu is one of the most important festival of assam we call it as harvest festival irrespective of any community or tribe everyone who lives in assam celebrates bihu with great pomp and show so such functions and religious ceremonies make the people living in the villages attach together now we have seen that people in villages they follow certain social rules and regulations and traditions now there is a feeling of brotherhood love and care and people stay together unitedly in the villages the relation among the different families also in the villages help them in uniting among themselves they share amongst themselves many things of day to day use with the various tools for cultivation you know they use plow and they also use other traditional methods for agri culture then we also have our social institutions such as namgar mosque that is masjid churches and small clubs where people worship and also get together and in villages life is very simple even if there is any conflict or problem between any members of the villages so they solve out through open discussions and even though the standard of living in village is not as high as the people living in towns but the village are very much or very far ahead in terms of food production if you remember in the previous class we discussed that most of the raw materials that is needed by towns or urban settlement is being provided by the villages and that includes even food even now the vegetables the crops or whatever we are eating in so they all come from the villages so what we have learned we learned that type of life that people live in villages is known as rural life then we also learn about the activities of the people living in rural areas they are like agriculture or even fishing cottage industries if you remember cottage industries that i have discussed in the previous classes then small trade and business not big ones but small then we also learned that people of different faith or community live together in village with peace they also celebrate different festivals together and if any conflict or problem arises they solve through open discussion now the next that we will discuss or learn is about the characteristics of lifestyle in the urban settlement that is in town so the characteristics of lifestyle in urban settlement now generally in urban settlement the 75% of the population there are involved in trade industry and various other services and this urban settlement generally develops in and around trade and commerce and craft industry and the central part of a town is the center of the trade and commerce so that is we call as the hub the main part the, or the center where all the trade and commerce take place and in this trade and commerce it includes banks 
wholesale and retail trading centers and various other commercial centers and all these these things are situated at the hub that is at the center of the town then other offices and educational institutions industries develop in and around this central hub now because urban settlement gives us more scope so more and more people from villages or from the rural areas started to migrate into the urban settlement and this is now increasing the population in town and since the population of the town is increasing so the land in the town is becoming scarce that is there is a shortage of land at present many towns in india having is having this problem that is scarcity of land and growing population also results in increasing demand of all types of commodities in the town and because of which the prices of many things rises and people are forced to be kept engaged in different activities for more income so that's why people in town work very hard because the prices go up because of the high demand and so people get themselves engaged in whatever activities they can to income more so that they can afford those goods now the reason why people flow or migrate into town is because of town has or urban settlement has many advantages better facilities of education and health mode of transport is very good in town people can move from one place to another easily and the scope of job or job opportunities is higher in towns people can get themselves engaged in different sectors be it be education institution like schools or colleges or industry mills or even public and private offices then towns also have all modern facilities and even entertainment now to, to look after the administration of the town there is or there are some bodies local bodies like in big towns or cities where the population is above 10 lakh that we call as metropolitan cities they have municipal corporation and below that population we have the municipal council we have the town area committee that just the way we have in titaba and these local bodies administer the urban settlement and urban areas also have better facilities for entertainment the people who live in urban so people in town get to enjoy their leisure time in various theater halls cinema halls or even zoo park sports ground or even stadium so where they can go and spend their leisure time and they lead a good life and same thing the way the town have local bodies so even the villages they have their own local local bodies if you remember that i have we have discussed this in some other chapters like the village panchayat or the panchayat samiti they are the one that looks after the or administer the villages now the next we shall learn is about urbanization process now before going into the urbaniz urbanization process let's recall what we have discussed here so we discuss about the characteristics of lifestyle in urban settlement so the advantages of urban settlement are better education facilities job opportunities in private offices industries and local firms all kinds of modern facilities are available in urban settlement such as banks school hospitals internet but now even internet and mobile services has entered villages also then we have better transport facilities and lastly we have all kinds of entertainment in towns now 
urbanization process. Now, what is urbanization, first of all? So, urbanization is a process of transforming a rural area into an urban area. Now, certain villages are located in a fine place like fertile land near the river and that village or that area may also have lots of mineral resources and in a rural area where minerals or other like uh, minerals like coal and petroleum are found it can lead to the creation of industries and these industries later on will create jobs and then more and more people will come here to engage themselves in various sectors and the population will increase and slowly this small village will turn into a town but this process doesn't happen in a day it takes time first of all industries will be set up then population I'm um, sorry people will flow into this place to get themselves engaged in various jobs then transport facilities will be there then health, education, power supply, water supply, these things will increase and all sort of facilities will come into play. In Assam, the township of Duliajan, Lido and Digboy were created in this manner. At first, these were villages. But since the discovery of oil, industries were set up or refining uh, plant was set up and then a change into a urban settlement. Then in other parts of India, Jamshedpur, you can see Tatanagar, then Tata, Billai, Barauni. These, are, these were also once villages, but because of the available of various mineral resources, it transformed into urban settlement. So this is known as urbanization. That is the process of transforming rural areas into urban areas. Now, there are other factors that can also change, change a village or a rural area into town area or urban area. Now, we also have religious town. For example, Tiruputi, Puri. These are where we have famous temple. So, people visit these places in lakhs. And then, more and more people started to flow into these places. And it became a religious town. Then we have Velo in China, that is a medical town. Then we have tourist town such as Darjeeling, Masuri. So such process of transformation is known as urbanization. Now population is considered as the main base of urbanization. Now in most in almost every country, respective census, you know what is census? That is official counting of the population. Or of the people department sets the size of the population for a place to become a town a, a place cannot be just called as a town there has to be some certain, certain criteria and that is all dependent on the people the number of people for example the population population size of towns in different countries differ from one another in India 5,500 person whereas in USA it can be 2,000 500 person and 30,000 person in Japan and according to that basis we declared a town now in our country an area or a town having population of more than 1 lakh is called a city and an urban settlement with a population of from 1 million to 5 million is known as metropolis and there is one more term used that is megapolis that is when a metropolis has the number increases the population increases then what happens the surrounding areas of that metropolis gets annexed to the main surrounding major city and that becomes as megapolis for example mumbai then now in the recent past year, Navi Mumbai was created and that became a mega polis. Now whole of Mumbai is known as mega polis. It was, it was only Mumbai but now 
the surrounding areas navi mumbai also now is a part of mumbai that's it for today thank you